While Memorial Day is a day to honor those who have lost their lives serving our country, it also holds a special significance for traumatic brain injury survivors in the metro because every year on this day, that community comes together to support one another and raise awareness. And today, the race welcomed a new family whose name has made national headlines. Anchor Caitlin Canute has more on 17-year-old Ralph Yall, including how this race is part of his ongoing recovery. For the first time since he was shot in the head on April 13th, Ralph Yarrow made a major public appearance. Although he wasn't up to addressing the crowd, his mother spoke on his behalf before the start of the Going the Distance for Brain Injury race. Just want to thank everybody here for their support. Thank the Brain Injury Association of Kansas City for all the support and letting us know that there's a family out there that we can reach out to. Given the migraines and more he's battling, it wasn't easy. His family says he wanted to join this 1.5 mile walk portion of the race. Also, he could give back to the community that stands ready to support him. Ralph is the kind of person who will do something, not because it's good for him, but because it's good for other people. He did say, I want to do it. Even though today is a busy day for him compared to what his new normal is, he was really excited to be here. Beyond picking up a medal for his participation, the real reward for today was showing Yarrow this sea of runners and walkers means he's not alone. He was even talking to some of the brain injuries survivors, like he met some of them and he was sharing stories with them. And I was impressed to see that too. I was happy that he got to do that. And there are others with TBIs who stand ready to help guide Yarl through the recovery process, including Tyler Moss, the Kansas City police officer, who made a remarkable recovery after he was shot in the head in the line of duty almost three years ago. He's going to have to deal with some things that he's going to be frustrated with, and he's going to have to just stay, try to stay positive. I hope I can be an inspiration to him and uh, hopefully meet him one day, which is I want to be able to be that resource that he could potentially need in the future if I can be. We asked Officer Moss what advice he has for Yarrow going forward. He said try to stay positive, stick to the rehab, and remember, when it comes to recovering from a traumatic brain injury, it's a marathon, not a sprint. In Kansas City, Caitlin Canute, KSHB 41 News.